Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel and today we're here with a huge US Coupe event as I'm going to be playing the $500 buying 80k guarantee um, high roller thrill championship. Uh, so this term is going to start with 50,000 chips, half the prize pool goes to the bounties, half goes to the payouts, uh, traditional payouts, and uh, let's see if we can spin this thing up with one of our biggest buy-ins of the series. So we open Jack 9 suited, couple calls here in the high roller. Start with third, flop a gutter, back to our hearts. See a call. Another call. So we pick up the combo draw here. I'm trying to think if we check or just bet. I think I'm just going to bet here. Even though it's into two people. And then River the Flush. Nice. So it's going to look super strong. I think when I bet here, I go really big into two people as played. I mean, I'm basically saying Flush or better. It's nice that it's the backdoor flush too, so they really shouldn't have. And I blocked like the straights that turn the backdoor flush, right? Like I have the nine of hearts, which I think is pretty relevant. So it's not like they can have like 10 nine of hearts, jack 10 of hearts. Like we have the jack too. So like our suits of the hearts is nice. Obviously, you'd rather have the ace high flush, but like we do block the primary other flushes player jams. I think we just have to call if they have the backdoor. I mean, they could have KX of hearts is the thing I'm most worried about. Uh, if binary star calls, I actually will fold. But. If he folds, oh my gosh, I'm folding the jack high flush. This is ridiculous. I mean, one of these players probably has the king high flush. I mean, I obviously feel awful if I have the best hand, but I would imagine binary stars range. Oh gosh, it's so dumb because, like I said, the jack and the nine of hearts are so good to have. It's the backdoor flush. Oh, but I feel like such an idiot when they, I mean, someone's got king X of hearts, right? Top pair gets there. If it's front door, I can fold. It's just so weird. I, I'm going to end up folding, but just so tilted. This is supposed to be such a big pot for us. Ace high, 10 high flush. Oh my gosh, that's so sick. It was back door. Man, and if binary stars doesn't have the ace-six, we beat the other guy's flush. So sick. Oh my gosh. So yeah, if he doesn't have the ace high flush, we beat the 10 high flush. We stack them, and we just have heaps. And I, I don't know if I covered them to start, but it was really close. But we correctly fold a flush, which that part's good. <laughs> so a little jack open here, three betting cutoff. See the call. Ace high flop here. I have king queen and the king of spades. Start with quarter. It's definitely a board on some runouts we could be uh, pretty frisky with. Especially if it's like spade or hard. Now this is one where I slow down the turn though because I actually pick up some value. Uh, if it goes check check, mainly want to see spades and hearts both miss. But I think a pretty clear check on the turn now. And then so that's a bad river. So a four that's not a harder spade, I think we'd be calling most sizes. Here on river, the problem is like a lot of his draws then come in. And he bets big. I think I'm gonna fold this one. So I would really have to hope he has like, you know, like a queen jack of hearts, jack ten of hearts, but again, we block that, right? Because we have the queen hearts. So it's actually a pretty bad combo to have, I think. Because not, I mean, we do, we block the flush coming in, that part's good. But it's also like, what did he call these bluffing with? Is he turning like an eight into a bluff? I mean, I guess he could be if he's trying to get me to fold like maybe like queens, jacks, tens, or this hand. Um, But I think we'll fold and then I would call if that was a non-spade four probably all right open ace jack here big blind defense four three two uh check check on this flop take the turn turn the straight um sounds nitty but i think actually going to check the turn here i think i'm more likely to get one bet i don't think going for two bets is super easy versus that blind bad river uh probably have to call the two x pot if he bets just hope he doesn't have a seven and then yeah we're chopping there uh, potentially another spot here where I should be just flatting. I think I'd flatten the cutoff or button. I don't know if I really have a lot of hijack flats here with the way I play, even though I probably should. Just saying from a pure like understanding of MTT standpoint. Flop the ace high flush draw. Pretty strong flop here. Go for third. Get raised. Just get it in. So again, I am a short sack here in a bounty. Uh, double flush draw. I think we just go for the big jam.
but I think double flush draw will go for Jam. See the fold get the bluff through. So we got Limp here, just gonna check the King 7. Check flop top pair. How deep are we? 21 blinds. That's pretty big. Scary, but just a call. Four turns, a good turn. Didn't want to see a jack 10 or 9 for those straight draws. I think if they bet big again, we just get it in. It's a they limped, so I mean they can have a lot. So they bet 9k. Ugh, is this ever a jam? So if I call, it's like 31 in the middle, 18 back. The race, not good. This one we would fold. Checks king nine. All right, so I guess it saves us. We just have a third of a stack with about 11 blinds. So if somebody three bets, I'll fold. But if there's no three bet, we're gonna be jamming. So yeah, we're gonna be all in here. Low jack opens, jamming eleven blinds. Don't expect to see folds ever with the bounty factor. So back to the opener. Calls jack ten with the flip, and they got the diamond coverage too. Probably gonna have to re-enter the five hundred. Yep. All right, out of the first entry there in the five hundred. Go ahead and re-enter though. So if flop top pair, uh, check raise or just bet. I think we're gonna start with just the bet here. Snap call from the cutoff. And six of diamonds turn. Um, let me think here. So I'm gonna get called lighter. I don't think cutoff's gonna have a lot of six X. Maybe they do covering for bounty. This player leads, this is scary. Cause they have the most six X. I think we call here and then I'm gonna fold if it's a heart. And then obviously I can hit the flush too. So I think it's just a call. If the cutoff jams and they get in, then I might still call. But everybody goes to the river. 10-9 comes in. This is actually not good. Uh, I think I might fold this one too. Especially once they see two calls. I mean, they cover both, but I can't imagine they think that their bluff's getting through a ton here. Hope they check. If they jam, I actually don't know what to do. Oh, it'd be such a sick spot for them to bluff. If it was just heads up, like this player fold in a jam, I would call. I just think that when there's two calls, they're less likely to get folds. So the question is, like, how often do they call 6x? Um, the 8 is relevant. Like, I think I would call the 3 or 2 of spades here. I, are they going to peel the 6 is the question. With the bounty considerations. They can't have 6x of hearts or 6x of diamonds. Um, let's see... Oh, this is interesting on the 8. thing is, if they had like 9-8, they probably just check now, though. I know this makes my hand, obviously, the other player, but... Need some time here. 5-4 comes in, too, actually. Okay, yeah, I'm going to fold this. Again, if, it's, if this player is not in, I might consider calling. But we just fold the queen, king queen on the river. Here, hopefully, it's undergun jams. Everybody else folds. We can play for a bounty. No, it sounds weird to be like, hey, I want to call it queen eight high, but for five blinds, we have one invested. It's actually a good scenario if everybody folds. All right. Oh, geez, I got what I asked for. <laughs> it's kings. Straight. No. All right. Well, I think, again, pretty slam dunk call. Just uh, didn't have anything there. <laughs> it just had the goods. So let's call, call a lot. Oh, if they don't call, I like it. Problems I get like some pairs here. All right, I'm still going to get in. I actually don't know here. I want them to re-jam ISO with like two overcards, have them fold and flip here for more than a triple. That's the best case scenario. Aces, kings. Oh boy, I just really ran into it. Yikes. We're just dead. All right, so out of the high roller and entry two. I was down to five lines. I think can jam that. So open here, defend the suited king. Flop the flush draws. Could be a check jam. All in. Holds. So we open here. Jay Drisco in the big blinds. Sides on a flat. Just over 20 bigs will go quarter. Hopefully a spot to double here. Four on the turn. Half pot turn, I believe. 
and then setting up to jam any river. Prefer no 7, but again, I don't know if he has much 7x if I bet twice and he's still calling. And there's not like 7x with a flush draw available. 9 river, alright. Stuff it in, hope he has like a weak ace. Obviously if he has 2 pair, that's better, right? <laughs> Worst 2 pair, but... Uh, 7s I expect in the jam pre in this format. Or... I mean, honestly, I don't know that we're ever down losing here. Given the situation, so we jam. Snaps us off with the king four, and we're good. Two pair versus two pair. Sick turn card for us. All right, guys, so we are post late reg in the $500 high roller. So after a tough start, we're on bullet three, but we do have 243K, so just under five, K, uh, five starting stacks. Currently sitting 11 of 37, at top 23 pay at least 464 that you can see over here. And the first place and second place prize 6.8K, but obviously the bounties as well will also be more in addition to that as well. Flat or three bet. I'm gonna go ahead and flat here. This is maybe supposed to be a three bet. I think if it's the open hijack, I was gonna three bet, but earlier I'm just gonna flat. Maybe a mistake. And then this is one where if that player folds, I'm just gonna rip ace queen against Stozy. So go for like the back jam here after he squeezes. He does cover me for the bounty, but. If I decide to flat it, I'm pretty sure this has to be a mandatory back jam. Kings, oh boy, need an ace. Eight spades, we're out of the high roller. We are out. All right, YouTube, that wraps up our tournament video for today. And unfortunately, our biggest losing day of US Coop here. So got in for three bullets in the high roller, six bullets in for the $100 event. So total results on the day, 2,503 in buy-in, 762 in cashes for minus 17 of 40. I did get my fourth win in seven days. We won the hot 10 for 398, but obviously it doesn't make up for all those bigger buy-ins where we just completely bricked everything. So hope you guys at least enjoyed the hands and the video from today. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever want to catch the live streams on Twitch, I have a link to my Twitch channel in the description below.